What's up, Sugar with Spice Squad? If you're new here, my name is Sugar, and I wanted to announce that we made it to a thousand subscribers. Let's keep it going, Spicers. All right, let's get into this tea. So, Tory Lanez called Aiden Ross from jail. Hello? Hello? Yeah! <laughs> Big Tory on the phone. What's up, my nigga? How you feeling? I'm chilling, man. You know the chat's giving W's and free Tories in the chat, man. They're hype right now. Hey yo, hey yo, chat. Matter of fact, hey yo, fuck it. The chat is here, the chat is live. They spamming the W's and the free toys. Now we gotta do this right. Matter of fact, hey yo, hey yo, Alexa, play Mace. Welcome back. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me, hold on, let me, uh, let me pull it up. I don't, I don't got the Alexa in the room. Wait, what? <laughs> you got Alexa in jail? We gonna let this ride for a second, Aiden. Hey, hold on, one second. We doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. It appears that fans have been saying free Tory because they feel as though Tory wasn't the one who shot Meg in the foot, or they think Meg wasn't shot in the foot at all. There's an old video of Tory resurfacing where he says that Rock Nation gave him a call basically insinuating it was a setup. Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're going to make a statement about what happened. And it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. So I'm like, oh, okay. I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans, like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever this is. Like, I didn't get for that two days why that was an is uh, or issue. Two days later, a TMZ report come out. All of a sudden, the affiliates of her circle start pointing like little subliminal fingers, like count your days. What are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment down below. This brings me to the next topic. Joe Budden stated on his podcast that he feels that Megan was not the one who chose for Tori to go to jail, but someone higher than her instructed it and set it all up, which ties into what Tori said on his Instagram live previously. I do believe he's- I've seen niggas get shot for, and I'm sure y'all have less. To, for, for, for less than that. I've, I've never seen a celebrity do it. That's fair. I've never seen a celebrity shoot somebody for less. People that have a lot going on. He has a lot, he had a lot going on. One of the hottest artists out now, not as successful as her at the time. I'm pressed to believe Rappers that. do time I, just, I, I really just don't think that all of that is being taken into account in this heated moment, like you said, that is fueled by drugs and alcohol. But I wait, just, in the heated moment, why is Tory heated? Somebody tell me why Tory Lanez would be heated in that moment. I popped you, I popped you, I'm the one that want to tell about it. I think it was a scuffle. Recklessness. It's it scuffle and fucking, recklessness. Or maybe shot at the ground and, and just actually yeah. connected. Scuffle actually. and recklessness is still different than he shot me, which has been my beef with Mag this entire time. Why would she make it up? Well, Seriously, I mean... Well, first of all, I think it's above her. I don't think she made it up. Okay. She's not... She's... This play is greater than her. She didn't make nothing up. Hmm. I ain't gonna say who I think made it up. Okay. But it wasn't her. One fan wrote, and then just say Jay-Z. Another wrote, well, Tory dad said it's Rock Nation and I didn't understand it. So this is kind of a conspiracy theory at this point because if these allegations of Jay-Z or Rock Nation being the real reason behind why Tory is behind bars and career being done with, then that's crazy work. If y'all remember, Tory Lanez was an independent artist and allegedly turned down the offer to be signed to Rock Nation. Meg Thee Stallion is managed under Rock Nation and she stated in a recent Shannon Sharp interview that she's never felt more safe and protected. So is Jay-Z protecting Meg by locking Tory Lanez up? Did Tory tick off Jay-Z and did Jay-Z have the power to do something like this? There's a fan who left a comment underneath an old Tory Lanez video that said, this reminds me of the Chris Brown Rihanna situation. Anytime a person is dealing with Rock Nation, their entire career is changed drastically. So is Meg Thee Stallion basically the new Rihanna? If this allegation is true that Jay-Z has this kind of pull, then was he the one to forever damage Chris Brown's reputation? If you heard anyone associate with Rock Nation and tick off Jay-Z, will your career be done with? Spices, let me know your thoughts on this because we gotta get some answers. Leave a comment down below. All right, on to the next topic, which is kind of random, but Coyle Ray and Trippy Red appear to be back together. Photos and videos are surfacing the internet of what looks like they're on a romantic date. Trippy 
Fred's ex, India, responded and said, but he was just, never mind, shaking my head. Ooh, so it looks like Trippy Red was doubling back and forth between Koi and India. Trippy Red has had an interesting roller coaster relationships. In the past, he had cheated on another ex, Sky Morales, and she did not take him back even after he admitted to his actions in a post on Instagram. He basically said, just wanted to publicly apologize to Sky. Do not be mad at her. I cheated. She have had the best attitude with me, but she was the most loyal partner I ever had and I lost her, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. I think Trippy Red is a hopeless romantic. He honestly falls hard with almost every female he gets in a long-term relationship with. Even when he broke up with Koi Larray, he wrote a song called Larray, pouring his heart out saying, good to now be here. It was love at first sight and misery after two months, always feeling effed up either by love or no love. I thought you was married to the single life. I think Trippy Ray is doubling back to Koi because yes, he probably genuinely loves her, but he also loves love and is always in a relationship. Spicers, what are y'all thoughts on this? Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all so much for getting me to a thousand. Let's keep it going. Let's get to 5K, period. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ready? What are you doing this to me, bro? You ready? You yeah. Let's go. My nigga, give me a serious spirit. Oh! Man. <laughs>